Weather comes instrument Fox 304. We will show how to stop the test of spotted polystyrene sample. First, we have to wipe both plates with brief towel to make sure that the surfaces are clean and have no particles. Then we turn on the instrument, bottom is on the back. Next we have to select units, for example SI units. To that we should go to the computer, the Winform software. To establish communication between computer and the instrument. Uh, this particular computer has many copies of the Winform software. Uh, we're using one of the copies. We click on the icon. So actually, this this software is already this copy of the software is already connected to this particular instrument of test run window, and we have select uh, most important selections for this test. So test mode should be selected as normal. And then we we should select one of the two calibration set of the instrument, either user type, we should select, in this case we should select user type because all the EPS samples, standards, they are tested versus this instrument's user type calibration. And second selection is instrument calibration, not filed one. And also we have to select manual thickness, uh, which later we will and the thickness of the expanded polystyrene sample written on the sample. Next step, we have to click run. The polystyrene standard. This is a serial number, and this is thickness of the sample written in millimeters. We put the sample inside the instrument's chamber. And then we go to the computer. On sample information window, we have to enter first name of the test. So usually we use the last three digits of the, the serial number of the expanded polystyrene sample, then underscore, and then serial number of the instrument. Uh, here we thickness window. We enter thickness of the sample, 25.1 millimeters. And then all info window we can enter any uh, information about this sample. We can print anything like EPS sample test, for example. Then we click OK. The slightly corrected name for this file. So we have already four files. So we select name with the letter E. And we click OK. Next screen is uh, set points temperatures. Should be entered. Uh, so this is upper plate, lower plate temperature, mean temperature, and temperature difference, delta T. Set points. 25 degrees delta T, we click OK. Now all the set points are accepted. And the software is starting to test on the instrument. And now we hear the motors are moving the plate up. And around the start. So next we have to select criteria. Equilibrium criteria. The so instrument is running test now. You can see on the LCD screen all the temperatures, the hypometer signals. At the beginning, the hypometer signals are very big because the sample is absorbing all the heat from the plates. And you see that this is test of this first set point out of four set points. And now we have to close the door of the instrument and the test is running. After finishing all four set points, the test will automatically finish and the results will be shown on this screen and also they will be saved on the 
computer. After finishing test, we see the results shown here. So we can either by clicking next button, we can see all the set points one by one. This conductivity, or also we can show it as a graph. So we can select upper, lower, or average all three of them. Usually we plot all three. From here you can see how easy to use the laser comp instruments.